Mayor Lightfoot betting big on Bally's, but it still has to get the stamp of approval from the city council. WGN's Kelly Davis joins us now to explain that today they discussed the selected casino finalist. Kelly? Yes. So today's special committee meeting started at 11 o'clock this morning, and it is still underway. We're going on five and a half hours. This is only the second time this committee meeting has met, the first since Mayor Lightfoot announced that she's backing Bally's. The meeting started with public comments, and the only people who spoke in favor of the Bally's proposal were investors in the plan. Now, if this is approved, the $1.7 billion casino project would replace the Chicago Tribune printing plant in River West. Next, our media group owns that land as well as WGN-TV. The estimated $200 million in annual income is earmarked for the public safety pension debt. The special committee meeting gave city council members a chance to ask Valley's representatives questions about their proposed plan, but many members expressed their frustrations with this process that it's just moving too quickly. Several people have issues with the site, specifically traffic, crime, and public safety. Several aldermen say they feel pressured to approve this plan quickly so that they can avoid raising property taxes, while others say this proposal is a good move for the city. I support this. Uh, I mean, now that, now that it's been chosen in my area, I got to be honest with you all, I thought this would be the last place that something that would be chosen. But things work in mysterious ways. The idea that we're gonna be voting on legislation in about a week, um, and we just received a copy of the proposed legislation this afternoon, and that we have all these questions outstanding, um, that really, really gives me cause for concern. We are here to listen to this, uh, the remaining process, um, and, um, and, and we are happy to reflect any of the, any changes uh, to the extent that it's important for the community. Area residents are skeptical about the site. The public will be given another chance to provide input during a town hall on Thursday night. Representatives from both the city as well as Bally's will be there to share information and answer any questions from the community. And at this rate, we expect it to be a full house mm -hmm. on Thursday. Oh, I bet. Yeah. Thanks, Kelly. Yeah.